Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have planned a day trip to Hogenekal Falls. The waterfalls is formed by the river Kaveri. The name Hogenekal is derived from Kannada which means the smoky rocks. The gushing force of water resembles like smoke emanating from the rocks. Hence the place and waterfalls is named accordingly. Actually there are two viewpoints to Hogenekal Falls. one from the karnataka border and other is from the tamil nadu borders we are going today to tamil nadu side of hogenekal falls this is at a distance of 125 kilometers from bangalore city there are multiple ways from bangalore but going through krishnagiri dharmapuri highway on nh44 is much better as the road conditions are good As you reach Dharmapuri Highway, take turn on to Dharmapuri Hogenekal Road. This road takes you through villages, but the road conditions are good. Before entering the forest limits there is a check post where you need to enter details of your vehicle and passenger details paying 100 rupee as a entrance fee The ghat road is not that risky drive but do watch out for monkeys on the way After reaching Hogenekal There is a dedicated parking facility but you will have to walk at least 750 meters till the spot. There is one more parking space made available by the hotel Tamil Nadu and the charge rupee is 50 for four wheeler parking. There are many shops if you want to purchase local products and toys. There are eateries selling fresh fish. Pathway to Korakal ride is busiest on weekends and it is also a fish market. When you are in Hogenekal, Korakal ride is a must. The boats are not allowed beyond 5 pm. Many boatmen offer you rides with the different packages, but be careful about the charges as they may charge very high. I will mention about the package details further in the video. We hired a boatman and started our Korakal ride. They provide life jackets as well, so it's safe for the ride. Here is a hanging bridge from where you can view the falls if you don't want to go on a coracle ride. Here is a first waterfall which is at the Tamil Nadu side. 
They'll take you almost near the falls which will be a great fun. Coming on to the Coracle ride package details, they charge around 750 for the Coracle ride and additional 500 for the boatman to take you to the first waterfall which is at the Tamil Nadu side. If you wish to go further and view the bigger waterfalls which is at the Karnataka side, they charge around 3000 to 3500 which would be a total of 2 to 3 hours of ride. All we need to do is bargain and go with the best offer possible. We paid some 2000 rupees for the short ride to view the first waterfall which was obviously a loss. So be very smart while you bargain. There are floating shops from where you can purchase A-trays. Be sure to carry hats as it would be very sunny. In the short ride, they'll take you near the island where you can wish to stop by and you can have freshly cooked fish which is very famous here. One more thing to mention is the oil massage which they offer at the river banks. It is said that the water flowing here has medicinal values as there are many medicinal herbs around the falls. Hence many people go for oil massage and take bath under the falls. There is a hanging bridge from where you can view the falls if you don't wish to go on a coracle ride. They charge rupees 10 per head.
It's a perfect destination to have a day trip. Share your experience in the comment section if you visit sometime. With this we end our video and if you like the content please hit like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting upcoming vlogs. Thanks for watching and see you soon.